Good morning! So we're having breakfast this morning and I am trying to figure out my next project other than painting the outside of the house because that's going to be like a here and there kind of thing I think. Here we got the kids. Abigail's fixing to eat her cereal. Good morning. Good morning. What's special about Abigail's cereal? Oh it has. <laughs> She's got three different types of cereal in there and she didn't want to eat cottage eggs and bacon so she has her cereal and it's got hemp milk in it that's what's special about it it's got yep. hemp milk hemp milk yep so here i got stuff for this project i have these and i'm going to split it into threes so hopefully i'll have enough for the tubs around i bought some grout it was on clearance but it was only like 50 cents off i don't know why it was clearance um this is the color warm gray Hopefully it'll go with that really well. And I have, this is what it said for the stuff, tile adhesive. So uh, hopefully I can do this right. I've never done this really before. I have tiled a tabletop um, with mosaic and whole pieces of tile, but I've never done this. Thank you for the coffee. I did something bad that I thought would be really, really good. It's really bad though. I put that tape on, what is that tape called? What's that tape? What's it called? Flex seal? Oh my god. So see the black behind it and all of the yucky, disgusting stuff? Ugh, man. Laundry. Ain't nobody got time for that. But the bad thing is, I'm probably not going to be able to get this off because it's super, super sticky. I hated to work with it. And it took me probably like two hours to cut it and try to get it on and stick it's not nice to work with and it didn't actually do what it said it was going to do and some parts it doesn't stick because obviously there's been water back behind there it's not good water damage and mold not good so we gotta we gotta do something about that that's not not acceptable um i'm sure that i can do it it just probably won't be like the most professional job but we'll see um, the only thing that I'm worried about is doing the cuts but I do have a um, from a long time ago I used to do little little projects um, so that I can score it and then take the clamper thing and just break it into two you know just to do those cuts but I'm just like so worried about this project because <sighs> I, I just don't want it to leak. I don't want mildew in there. I'm trying to keep the mildew out of the house, all the mold out of the house. Um, work on the air quality. Uh, Raphael is like not sick anymore. And I do believe it's because he has been taking allergy pills. We're and like working healthy. and eating healthy. And we're working on getting their um, immune system really good so we're giving them a lot of probiotics and prebiotics so that they can build up the immune system because if there is mold in here yeah because of the type of house that we live in we can't actually get somebody to come out and look and see if there's mold here because they're they basically told me that uh, well, the type of house you live in and the area you live in, yes, it, it, there's a 100% chance that you have mold. They're mold remediation, okay? But we have called probably three people now that could come out and check. Uh, one guy wants $250 just to look at the house. Um, and the other ones, they won't call us back and or they'll tell us no. So... <laughs> It's been uh, a little hard to try to find just somebody to come out and just inspect and see what the problem is, see if we do have a problem here. I am pretty sure there may have been a leak in the bathroom at one time. It, it, it seems like there may have been a leak because they did change out a lot of things in the bathroom. So I don't know. Um, and you would have to go down four layers of flooring because they took no layers out. I'm going on cubed so you better turn the volume of cubes down. What's a cube? Oh, he's getting nice. Okay, well that's my cue. Our kitty is running around the yard. Did somebody let her out. Doing some cleaning maintenance on the front porch. Well, the back porch. Um, I wanted to show you, since we're talking about the back porch right now, 
Rudy. Okay. See that right there? That's what we want. That porch enclosure. See, it would be hopefully relatively cheap. I have to call these people and give them measurements and stuff to get an estimate, see how much it would cost to enclose it. Um, that we only need one wall here and one wall here. I say only because we don't need two other walls or a roof. So I would expect it to be pretty cheap, but that is, that's nice. It's like typical Florida. I don't see it being like a whole bunch of money because a lot of people have them. Okay, you got the cat in? Yep. All right, so today, Hi, Abigail, how are you? Good morning. Are we gonna do a fun project for kids? Um, no, <laughs> not yet. We're gonna do an unfun project for adults. See all this stuff? We kept it out here because there was a rat during the rains in our building. Now we're going to put all of this in the building because there's no rat. We've cleaned inside the building and now we have to clean all the dirt off of this. Put all this seasonal stuff back in there and I got some play stuff too. So we'll leave the play stuff out. I got some tents, but all the seasonal stuff. Oh, and I have to repot that plant. Got some summer stuff, yay. Okay, we have all of our Christmas, Halloween decorations up there. Very good. Now we have our summer stuff. This is like swimming stuff, beach stuff, picnic stuff. And then pretty much empty. We gotta put the tree back up. This is going in the garbage. This served us very well <laughs> to come back to America. I actually took it to Israel and then brought it back and it's ripped so might as well not keep it. It's not a good one anymore. <coughs> but thank you for your service. Goodbye. All right, that looks a whole lot better. Got a few more things to put up, some stuff to throw away, and we still have to broom the porch off. Just got done sweeping. That was a lot of work because there was about an inch of sand where we tracked the sand in from the car. Anyway, um, I see what I'm going to paint. This behind me is going to be black. This is already like a dark brown and I like it. Hello. Daddy needs a dustpan. He's sweeping out the building again. So, uh, the porch is going to be black. And we're going to have paint the house white with the brown trim. So, it's going to be the same as the back porch. I thought about painting it blue and white, um, but eh, I don't have enough blue to do that, so we'll just paint it tan and white. I have plenty of white. I got five gallons of white. We did all of the ceiling with it in the house. We did the back yard. Probably be able to do the... Oh, there's a bunch of dust, so I'm leaving. <laughs> Adara's outside washing the car and I'm surprised that the neighbor isn't washing his car too because every time Hadar gets his pressure washer out so does the neighbor. It's, it's kind of funny like inspiring the neighbors to wash our car. Um, we like our neighbors. We have really good neighbors. They watch out for us and we watch out for them. It's like a community watch neighborhood you know. So Let's see what he's doing. Seeing that we're in the 40s and 50s right now, I took advantage of that and washed the car before it got too cold. And over here, this is how we ended up. Clear pathway for now. More stuff up there. I can tell you though, it's really not nice working in the cold. Um, I guess because I'm used to being so humid and hot here and now it's just, you know, you're cold but you're with short apparel and then it's too cold to work. Hi guys, we're gonna answer a math question. Cause tomorrow's school. Are you excited about school? Yeah. What kind of math question do you have? Uh, that you want to answer? Nine plus five. Fourteen. Do you want me to give you a question? One hundred and fifty-five minus sixty-five. Ninety. Yeah, ninety. That's a good answer to that question. I like it. So you're excited to go back to math tomorrow at school? Yeah, but not 90 times 1. 90? <laughs> I was kidding about that. Okay. 90 times 90. Well, you kids have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night!
Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to Palaka. Change of plans? Yeah. All right, let's go then. Hanging out with all the friends. He hasn't done this since Israel, I don't think. That's kind of where this one got his chaos from. I can't believe that. I'm happy with the park. 